Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a LEGO Exo Force review, and this one's on the Mobile Defense Tank and Sonic Phantom from 2006. <coughs> so on the front of each man, you will see a picture of both sets in action, and also have the LEGO and Exo Force logos, set number, and uh, manga-styled picture of Ryo and also of the de 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 yeah. Devastator robots, of course, and it's a nice strip artwork on the side, and also if you notice that for the set numbers, which in one in black and one's in white, mostly probably to depict good and evil, of course, but yeah. Okay. On the back is F for Lego Shop at Home or Lego.com. An old style add of Lego Club. Add for mostly other sets at the time. And the pieces that come with the set and the last building steps. But also a little a manga like comic strip of it. With a witch with Stealth Hunter and a couple of sets. There's a witch in action. And same with the, the rest of these pages. So at least you got to see some bit of the story done on this. And also add for an alternative model that there was. And big large add of most of the sets from the time. And also this one, this one of which expect for next next throwback Thursday. And then the final building steps for it. Now on to the basics that are included with each set. So first of which we have Ryo, of which same as from some other sets from the of the in the, this wave, of course. Well, and the next of which have a random Exoforce uh, worker or workman, of course. Well, same exact torso printing as Ryo, of which did, but the face print of which same as from his other appearances, of course. But also does come with, or does come in a couple other sets, of course. And whereas hair piece of which, same as uh, Hayato's or Hikaru's in black, same as the classic Nightwing, and but also, and also some folks did oftentimes use this for custom Dragon Ball uh, mini figs, of course, but yeah. Although you can do so as well if you wanted, but yeah. And then Destroyer Robot, which. Kind of just the same as most of the other ones as in this line, of course, but this particular one does have some translucent yellow mixed in with silver. Kind of cool for that, but the arms and arms and hands still the same as today's, but however, this one particular only main fig that comes with the Sonic Phantom, but except that, which, but also he comes with in a few other sets as well, well in the following years of course, but so therefore not so exclusive to that. Wish they could have made something exclusive to that, like maybe make him in translucent dark green or whatever, but yeah. And then for the backside, which same exact uh, 
eye effect as the other robots, of course. And the back face prints of it. Just about the same. Uh, oh, it's quite good ones for both figs, of course. And that's about it with the mini figs included. First up is the Sonic Phantom, of which so this, from first glance, you'd expect for something with whoops, with Sonic in the name to could be quite fast and all, but this of which kind of it suits that since a lot of turbine engines on this, of course. And also, this is this set kind of a sign of the times where. This, which in 2006 was about $20 and quite large for that, but nowadays for something with $20, it would be a whole lot smaller for that. So it does feel like a quite good value for that, but you know, it's a different age of Lego, yeah, of course. And so now, first, the detailings and the various pieces, is like from the front part of which has a couple of these big turbine type pieces which has about four stickers on each side or caution stickers on each side and you get quite a lot of stickers in this set but yeah and of course these pieces were quite exclusive to this line I mean, well until with the uh, jet racks t6 in bionicle two years later or also had them before. And also good use of one of the larger cone pieces in there, in these pieces as well, yeah. And then for the rest of which, which comprised of mostly like large curved slopes and also the car engine piece on there. And also do have these larger slope pieces with a large sticker that has the set number on it and the SP on it. Not sure what that means, but yeah. But also this is a little technique that we don't see from LEGO anymore, where it's a single piece under multiple, or a single sticker over multiple pieces, which nowadays LEGO doesn't seem to do anymore, which I and many of you are glad about, are happy about, but yeah. And let me move these out of the way for this center bit of which comprised of a lot of different Technic pieces and tubing, of course, and also random megaphone piece there. And also this back part, which, which just like the 2008 vehicle sets of Bionicle also had, is a little handle that you can hang on to and swoosh it around a bit. But unlike most of which, where you have a trigger you can pull, which I'll get to a little later. And also for these little wings, of which a couple more of the turbine pieces there. And also with Technic beams and holding the these little uh, uh, support pieces, as some call them, and uses gun barrels, which commonly used on various mocks. And these back part of which, which does have one of those uh, odd cylinder-like pieces for most city sets and things, and going out with a few slopes making a back tail fin, and also a couple rods on it, and holding an antenna on it, probably to communicate with the other uh, robots. And as for the center cockpit area, which comprises mostly a, a, a large uh, jagged slope with a large sticker on it with the uh, robot symbol on it. And of course, four studs to place your robot mini fig on to, obviously. And as I once mentioned, for the main feature of it, where I pull this trigger. We'll pull this trigger down below, and then shoots the little missile off it, which is quite fun and, and of course, very powerfully. But if you pull it back even more, 
it lights up the little light brick. Well, although it's just mine that's not so bright, or if you look at it from this front view of which you can kind of fit see some light on it. Despite being really old, it still kind of works out well, unless if you were able to change the battery. And this big problem with this one is if you like had it upside down, then it would just drop out to course. But I'm sure some of y'all can figure, some of you can figure out how to keep it in there, of course. And now that's about it with the Sonic Phantom. And now, onto the tank set. Also, this one, also from first glance, there's quite large and a good sign for the time sweat. And of course, this back in 2006 was only $40 and quite large for $40, but of course, nowadays, something at $40 is also a little smaller. But yeah. And as far as the features, well, obviously, from first glance, does have the large tread pieces that do roll around quite well, and also a couple of large uh, curved slope pieces with a lot of stickers on them. And also, as you can see, perfect symmetry to both. And also, as you can see, it does have these couple ratcheted joints, or technic ratchet joints that you can uh, click forward and backwards. And of course, these, like we've also seen on a uh, Scopio XV1 in Bionicle a few years later. And those, although from the back of which, a couple more of those pieces there, but also with a couple flame pieces going off it, representing exhaust. <sighs> okay. And so now on to, and on to these upper dome parts where it does have a cylinder with an astromech droid headpiece. And also, which are mostly this large canopy type of piece. This, this, and also with large stickers on them. And, and also some blue cone pieces acting as extra missile, as extra launchers. So plenty of good firepower on this vehicle. And they are, of course, on Bonacle Hero Factory ball joints and one of those grill pieces underneath. And also, if you notice that on both of these is the sticker pieces, just about the same as on the small uplink uh, set to which. But of course, since they're both piloted by Ryo, of course. And also, for this center bit, which another example of this technique that is of like a single sticker across multiple pieces. Which I, which again, still glad that doesn't happen today. And also this center section of which comprised of mostly like these large uh, slope pieces there and a few more stickers going on. And also this little canopy type of piece like we've seen with uh, Life on Mars and a couple other lines that you can still flip open and of course, if you look good enough amount of space to fit Ryo or the special worker men, whichever you want, to, uh, into that section and close up on top of them nicely. And of course, a couple more gun barrels on the front with lightsaber rods as well. As for this top section, which Price of a six barrel turret on it, so it's kind of like a large gaffler gun for that. And of course, have one of those uh, cylinder pieces from the classic space sets, and also first uh, Star Wars X Wing, of course. 
but facing backwards with the studs in the back, of course. And of course, and also that does using snot to hold the light brick on it, which kind of it lights up as well, and the light going through the lightsaber rod, using as a little scoping to that, which is quite nice for that. And on the other side of that is this old style launcher bit, which did come in a few other sets and also in one Avatar Last Airbender set, of course. Okay, this launcher, of course. And of course, these are which kind of bit fun, like most other launchers, but we're holding on this and the disc. Oops, oh, launch right off. Like, uh, let me show from a different angle. So as you see, it goes quite good distance and also well effective. And also on that area, oh what? Still has four studs enough to fit whichever minifig you want onto to man that, of course. And a couple more of those slope pieces there. Also well effective. Okay. Then. And so now on to the final vert is overall I think these are quite cool and good fun sets that there are. So like quite unique vehicles for that and also with plain good use of interesting pieces to them and also some quite good mini things to them which even though they kind of do came in, did come in other sets as well, but at least these are which some kind, well, this is which a quite good way to get him, well, for the remaining wave it was, but until in other sets, of course. But also they which good value for the prices that they were at the time, and also some good functionality to them, like a couple good launchers to them, of course, but yeah. Although, would have been nice if Sonic Phantom included some more uh, Destroyer robots since, of course, you see plenty of them in videos and whatnot. And, then, yeah. and so now, if you're looking to get these set, or if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't, and still looking to get these sets, then definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever, or Mercari as well, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.